Solar Smash got a brand new update and today I'm going to be unlocking the secret planet and a bunch of new things. What is going on TFG squad? My name is Brandon and welcome back to Solar Smash. So like I said, version 1.8.5 is finally out. You guys helped me out in the comments. So today I'm going to be able to unlock everything in the update. Let's just start with Planet Smash. You guys told me about something that I missed. Oh, by the way, if you want to see more Solar Smash on the channel, hit that like button and subscribe right now. All right, so the first thing first, if I go to the moon weapon, where is it? There it is. Uh, one of the updates, according to the game, was a, a shockwave and debris. And I was like, well, I can't find it. There's no debris. There's no shockwave weapon. Well, you guys were telling me, Brandon, you were being dumb. If you throw the moon at planet Earth, you can actually see the shockwave going around the planet. And you can see debris when planet Earth blows up. So today we're going to throw the moon at planet Earth. And then also, you know, throw a... You know what we're going to do. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Actually, wait, pause, pause, pause. I want to make sure I'm hitting the bright side of planet Earth so I can actually see the shockwave. So let's reset the planet. Sorry for giving you guys a little pump fake there. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, now I'm paused, Brandon. Here we go. All right, fine. There we go. I hope I didn't miss planet Earth. So let... Whoa! Yo, there it was! There it was! That's it! That's it! Oh, that was awesome! So you could literally see the bright shockwave going around planet Earth. Every single update in Solar Smash makes it more and more realistic. Oh, by the way, I killed all seven and a half billion people on planet Earth. That's just fantastic. Another thing I want to mention really quickly before I unlock the secret world and everything. You guys were like, Brandon, this is a fake. This game's not actually updated. You're just lying. Guys, Solar Smash sends me the updates a little bit early so I can test it out and make videos. It's not a fake update. I, I am not a skilled enough developer to create a clone of Solar Smash. This is the real update. You just might not have it on your phones yet, but you will very soon. The other new thing that I couldn't figure out was the debris, they called it. And you guys said basically if you blow up a planet, the, you know, the, the particles look a little bit different. So what's the best way to blow up a planet? We could either do the brand new planetary destroying laser man, or we could just blow up the sun. Let's go planetary destroying laser man. So if you guys didn't see it, the planetary destroying laser man did not get updated for planet Earth. I will show you the updated one later, but I guess this is the original one. But for the other planets, the planetary destroying laser man looks different and it's actually kind of cool. All right, so here we go. He's getting ready to blow up planet Earth. Is there going to be a shockwave for this? No, 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 maybe not, maybe not. Oh my gosh, everybody's dead already. Planetary destroying laser man is just not a good guy. So if we zoom out and we go into spectator mode. Whoa, there's like a, a, a sonic boom that happens. Yeah, and you can see the debris is a little bit more uh, detailed and, and fine and awesome and amazing. And if there's another adjective that describes how I feel, I would have used it, but I'm not smart enough to come up with another adjective. That was really cool. So you can see things really explode now into a bunch of particles. Okay, let's do one more thing really quickly, and then we're going to unlock this brand new secret world, which... Once again, you guys told me how to do it. Okay, so really quickly, if we go to Avalon, this is one of the brand new planets in the game. If you go to this side, you can see like all of the different colonies or countries or whatever you want to call it at nighttime. It, it, it really lights up really cool. And then this planet, does this, uh, no, this planet doesn't have two suns. This planet just has one sun. Wait, can we blow up? This is, this is a separate task that I'm trying to do. Can we blow up a blue sun? Come on, baby. Let me blow up the blue sun. Oh, it's not going to let me do it. It's not going to let me blow up the blue sun. All right, well, that's not what I was here for. If I zoom out a little bit and I spawn in the planetary destroying laser man, I showed you guys this last week in my last update video. But for those of you that missed that one, this is what the brand new planetary destroying laser man looks like. It's like this giant spaceship. You guys were telling me you thought it kind of looked like the Death Star or also just like a mini version of Machine World, which I can totally see that. Also, someone was telling me to try to see like the other side of it. Let's go to spectator mode. Can I maybe zoom in a little bit? Eh, a little bit, but not really. I mean, right there on the corner, you could kind of see the edge of it, but not really. Let's see it from this side. 
Let's see it from this side because this is the cool side. Oh my gosh. Dude, if I zoom in, you could like see the individual windows on the brand new planetary destroying laser man spaceship. So is this, here's a question I have for you guys and you guys are going to have to tell me in the comments. Is this the same planetary destroying laser man? He just upgraded his spaceship or is this a, a, a brand new uh, planet? Like, is this just a different uh, species of aliens that are here to attack planets? I'm not exactly sure, but here we go. If I go out of spectator mode and I, I put things back into regular speed, you can see he still has the same destru- Whoa, what are these, like, side explosions? Yo! When you blow up Avalon, there's, like, other explosions. I wonder if- Whoa! Okay, yep, yep, the brand new debris slash explosion looks, um, a whole lot cooler, no doubt. This is the time. Now is the place. Uh, I think I, I think I mixed those up. I think it's now is the time. This is the place. Uh, you know what? Forget it. I tried my hardest, okay? Now we're gonna unlock this brand new secret planet. So this is it right here on the bottom left. We've had Donut World, Cube World, Flat Earth, Snowman, all the other planets, probably Ghost World, which I call Jelly World, is one of my personal favorites. But this is the brand new one that just came out for this update. Now, you guys told me I actually have to go over to Mars, which you might be like, what? Brandon, why are you going to Mars? You're trying to unlock a brand new planet. Well, this is what you guys told me to do, and I'm trusting you. Now, if I aim at the sun, and I go over to... You guys told me the alien. I don't know which alien it is. I think it might just be this alien right here. If I send 10 aliens at the sun, he will blow up the sun, and then... Give us a brand new world. I don't know what the world is going to be. I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm going to try this. What? Oh, wait, this works. Yo, we were never we were never able to send aliens to the sun before. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yo, this is so cool. Eight, nine. We got one more. We got one more. Ten. Yo, achievement unlocked. Attack the sun with aliens. Oh my gosh, dude. This is so cool. This is all brand new. This is all brand new. All right, is he going to blow up Mars? Elon Musk says that he wants to travel to Mars within all of our lifetimes. So I really hope I didn't blow up Mars because that's going to make traveling to Mars a little bit harder. Ooh, maybe we didn't blow it up. Wait a second. Wait a second. So when the aliens attack the sun, they blow up the sun uh, strong enough that it doesn't blow up the planets? Wow. Look at this! The moon is now- or, or, or Mars is now living in a solar system with no solar. It, it's just a system right now. There's no sun. Also, wait, why is this side of the of Mars brighter than this side? If the sun doesn't exist anymore, all of Mars should just be in darkness right now. But you know what? We're not worried about that. So now if I go to the planets, did we unlock the new world? Oh, it's just the sun! Yo, we can finally, like, do all of these crazy things in Solar Smash to the sun. No way. No way. This is so awesome. Okay, I have a bunch of things that you guys told me to do to the new world. And now it all makes so much more sense now that I know it's the sun. So the first thing you guys told me to do was shoot the healing nuke at the sun and see if we can somehow create life on the sun. Now, I mean, I mean, creating life on the sun seems very impossible, very improbable, and honestly, a little silly. If you ask me, it's going to be very hot, but we're going to try this anyway. Three, two, one, go. I fired the healing nuke at the sun. It is about to make contact and literally nothing happened. Yeah, I mean, it's a giant fireball. Clearly, we're not going to live on the sun. The other thing you guys told me to do was shoot the moon at the sun and, and just see what happens because the moon would be like like a speck of dust compared to the sun in real life. So is it going to be maybe planet Earth that we're going to be throwing? Is it going to be maybe Jupiter? I don't know, but we're about to find out. It's... Oh, it is planet Earth. Wait, is that planet Earth? I think that's planet Earth. It's definitely not the moon. It's definitely not the moon. Look how small it is compared to the sun, although it did some damage. Wow. 
It actually did some damage, although now, uh, never mind. Never mind. It did literally no damage at all. The sun just ate planet Earth like it was a piece of popcorn at the bottom of the bowl when you're at the movie theater. All right, here we go. Now, the other thing you guys told me to do is spawn in a black hole and see if a black hole is able to consume the sun. It, oh, actually... Actually, wait, now if I speed up the simulation, no, okay, never mind, and, and, and the, the other one that you guys told me to do, which is probably not very surprising, is, oh, wait, 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 the other one you guys told me to do is freeze the sun, this sounds really cool, so let's make the freeze ray as hot as it can get, we're gonna keep it nice and blue, because blue is cold, everybody knows that, and we're gonna try to freeze the sun, wait a second, this might be working, guys. We also might find out what's in the center of the sun. I don't, I think the sun is just all gas. Like, like when we cut open Jupiter or Saturn, there was like a rocky core to the center. I don't think the sun has a rocky core. I think the entire thing's made of like hydrogen or oxygen or I don't know, something gin. Okay, here we go. We're getting close. We're getting close. Wait, maybe there is a rocky core in the center. Let me know in the comments for all of you, um, astronomy experts. Is there a rocky core in the center of the sun? I think it's just, like, melted, uh, nuclear material. I'm just gonna call it material. Oh. Okay, according to Solar Smash, there is a little bit of a core there to the middle, although it's still hot. I made, like, a red dwarf, I think it's called. I mean, this is an obvious one, but planetary destroying laser man versus the sun. Who doesn't want to see that? Here we go. Three, two, one. I already fired him. I don't know why I said three, two, one. Oh, my gosh. Look how tiny he is compared to the sun. You could barely see him. This might be the first thing. This, we might have finally found the first object in the solar system that can withstand the planetary destroying laser man. Come on. There's no way he can blow up the entire sun. There is absolutely no way. Wait, he might have actually not done it. I think the sun actually survived. He flew away and uh, it didn't do it. Wait, wait, one more thing. Let's make the planetary destroying laser man as strong as humanly possible. And let's make him frustrated gamer purple. Three, two, one, fire. Here he goes. I mean, he is like, he's like a grain of sand compared to the sun right now. We did it. We have finally defeated the planetary destroying laser man. Hit that subscribe button and check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs and I will see all of you in the next video.